After doing this challenge, I learned that you can be really physically fit uh, to be able to accomplish things that others can't do who aren't physically fit. Um, I also really learned that when, when you physically get to a point where you think that you're not able to, to go any longer, you gotta just train the mind to recognize that there's, there's more that you can do. And it's not easy, and it's something that I think I'll continue to face in the game of life, but I think that um, recognizing the balance between being physically fit and mentally fit really, really makes a difference. And the idea behind this challenge is to bring the equivalent of Mount Everest, which is 29,000, 29 feet, to Stratton, Vermont. And you have to go 17 times up the mountain and down the mountain, which will be the equivalent of 29,000 feet. So I would say there's two really, really rewarding aspects to this weekend. Number one, to know that um, when you identify a challenge, and you recognize that it will be a challenge that you're able to go out and accomplish it. And so being able to look back and say that I've been able to accomplish this is really, really rewarding. But then also I have to say another thing is that the group of people here are amazing um, and everybody pulls for everybody. There's a lot of camaraderie. When things are good, things are bad. Everybody's there to support you. And I think that, you know, it certainly does help and it uh, is rewarding to know that there's excellent people in the world and so uh so i appreciate that just for everybody back home there's people from all over met some really good people ohio michigan california georgia florida all good people there's some animals out here people are running seven marathons on seven continents in seven days so people are hiking some of the biggest summits in the world over a period of time. So that's what inspires me a little bit, keeps me going, I'm wired. So I would say what really surprised me about this challenge is frankly the whole challenge itself. Um, you try to mentally and physically prepare for what you think is going to happen, but it's not the same as doing it. So, um, you know, actually getting to the bottom after 45 minute hike up and knowing that you got to spend another 45 to 50 minutes, sometimes 60 minutes back up. So it's really hard to train for that. 17, baby. Crushed it. 29,029. Nothing left in the tank. Woo. That's what you came for. You came to play hard. Got to dig deep on the last one. That's all I got. The adrenaline was flowing. And uh, can't feel my legs, but you gotta just put your mind over matter. By far, toughest thing I've ever done in my life. I think the reason why I don't regret anything about this weekend is um, I, I find myself trying to live a life that's not only in the now, but occasionally have a forward look on what I can expect or what I might be able to expect. And I think that if I know, if I know that I'm always going to want to want to find myself in a position where I'm doing challenges like this, then I need to be in top shape and I need to train <clears throat> all the time and I need to not go through the motions and I need to do what it's ultimately going to take for me to be able to do these challenges. So I think if you kind of live in the now but have an understanding with a forward look of what to expect and you have some some basic uh, principles and some basic fundamentals that you focus on then you set yourself up for um, a really really good uh, future and I think you're you're gonna find yourself not encountering too many surprises although there will be surprises but I think you'll have a little bit more discipline around what to expect and, and what to think and I think, uh, I think it definitely makes a difference to be able to have a little bit of a forward look uh, into the future. So I'm on the gondola heading down after my 17th summit. Can't wait to get down. I am going to take a really nice warm shower, cool down for a little bit, get a nice massage, and then uh, 
be able to hang out with some really, really quality people because everybody here is excellent, excellent. Everybody encourages one another. It's, uh, it's a real good brotherhood. In a short amount of time, everybody forms a good relationship. So, and uh, glad it's done. I guess if I had to do 18, I could probably dig deep and do it, but the good news is I don't. So uh, it's, uh, it's all good. I had a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was a challenge. It's a, one of those challenges uh, of a lifetime. Don't know what you can do to train for it other than just stay fit. So I guess my hypothesis holds true. Stay fit in life and you can do things that others can't. So. You know, a lot of times we, we talk about or think about this thing called mental discipline. And I think that, uh, you know, it could be applied to everything that you do um, right. with regards well, to doing you. some physical challenges. It's, it's really important to recognize that right. you're going to get to a point when doing such a incredibly difficult challenge that your, your, your body's just not going to want to go any longer or you're just going to you're just going to want to stop and pack it in and I think that you have to have the mental discipline the mental toughness the mental fortitude to be able to recognize that that time's going to happen and then when it does happen you got to be able to really be dialed in to uh, the notion that you, you have a little bit more in the tank um, and so you have to have that mental discipline to know when it comes to physical fitness and really all aspects of life that, um, you know, the tougher you are around mental discipline, I think the better off you'll find life to be. Of course, I find myself uh, trying to think about what I do in life and how I'm living and who I'm being. And then uh, it, it can't help but to bring it back to planning. And I think that, you know, in order to thinking about this challenge and this event and uh, how it relates to planning, I think it relates in a lot of different ways. I mean, I think, of course, you have to, you have, to have that forward look, that ability to um, kind of know what to expect and know what you have in terms of a plan. So like, for example, uh, Friday when we got started, I knew that if I finished seven uh, summits, that would leave me with 10 uh, for Saturday and I knew Saturday that I wanted to finish so that I did not have any summits today which I think uh, there were like I don't know 12 or 14 people that finished yesterday so the vast majority of the people are finishing today and um, however many they get is excellent so if they end up getting 17 that's great if they ended up getting something less than 17 that's great too because they put themselves out here and um, they're they're handling it the best they can but when you think about the, the whole planning aspect of it I knew that if I started at 5 a.m. Saturday and I did the math and I played out the timing on how long it takes me to get to the summit that, and the last, the last hike was going to be at 5 p.m., that I would have to get 10 summits in uh, on Saturday. So being able to stop and think through, forward-looking, what to expect, develop a plan, have a strategy, and commit to it. Because I think it's really easy to, um, very easy to find yourself, uh, you know, initially getting started with something that excites you or something that you are really um, focused on. And then, you know, oftentimes I always say life gets in the way and that's not an excuse. So if there's something out there in the future, whether it be short term or long term that somebody wants, uh, they need to be able to commit to it. And then they also really need to understand that. Um, having the proper people around them makes a difference and it's not just when things are bad it's also when things are good so I think you know having people around them uh, will make a difference with their planning because it allows them to spend time with their families and in their profession or whatever their craft may be and so you know you think about this challenge as I mentioned earlier there's people here from all over the country and I think all over the world and everybody are, happens to be like-minded and you know, when things are good, they're encouraging you, and when things are bad, they're encouraging you. So I think that matters, too, is to have the right people around you so that your planning will uh, do what you want it to do. And I think the last thing I would say is to really um, understand that you have, to, you have to lead with and always stay with this protection-based mindset. I mean, there was guys and gals that were going up the mountain and I mean, I was at one point, I think on number 13 going up with a guy named Dan, may have been number 14 summit and uh, his knee totally locked up on him. And, you know, he, he, uh, 
he had to protect his knee. So in other words, he had to come down on the gondola and turn around and start again. And he had to know that his knee was, was, was in bad shape, but yet he had to protect that knee and be able to get through a really, really tough time uh, that would make a difference in allowing him to be able to get to the top and then ultimately finish. So I think he, whether it be an injury, I know it sounds strange, but if you have an injury, you have to protect the injury. If you have a mindset, you have to protect the mindset. If you have a, a level of confidence about doing something, you have to protect that. Um, if you have, uh, you know, just phys you know, this idea of being physically fit, you have to protect that, which means, you know, dieting and, and exercising and, uh, you know, with regards to your money and your, your, your future, you have to protect it. If you don't protect it, it's left exposed. And when left exposed, there's these unplanned life events that surface. And when that happens, it totally knocks you off course and it doesn't allow you to have to accomplish what you want to, what you want to accomplish. So I think, you know, there's a lot to tie back into planning when you think about this challenge and planning. And so, you know, for that reason, I, you know, appreciate everybody's attention. Everybody's following this weekend. And I think that, um, you know, we'll look forward to keeping you up to date on our next challenge and uh, continuing to offer value. So thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.